Perfect. Let's uh, start off gently this morning then. Just to... Just oh no, let's just wait. fucking go for it, Natalie. <laughs> really, because starting off gently is not going to deal with it. It's like, I need to get out the anger. We need to feel good about one thing, so gentle okay. forget. Okay, we will go for it then. We're going to go for it. Do so you want to use your band today or not? Or no band? We can do... I, what's the general feeling on bands? I think Give me a thumbs up if you want to use the band or... I think if somebody's got bands to use them, if you haven't got bands, you can order them. Um, there's a site. What's the site called, Natalie? Uh, Core Balance is selling bands at the moment. We're um, going to band it today. We said we would on Friday. I'm yes. going to get some water one second. See what they say in the comments. There's quite a few thumbs up. If you don't have a band, it's no problem at all. Make sure you've got some books, your mat, some water. Um, if you do have a mini band, grab that. Or if you have a long band, like this, like a TheraBand, grab that. And then you can... Um, Otherwise, you can, a TheraBand. We can just add a little extra spiciness with the yes, band. Yes, we can. Okay, how are we okay, starting? Let's get started then, Trini. I want you to come over to your mat. And we'll get started in the four-point kneeling position. I want you to have your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Make sure your hips are nice and neutral. Deep breath in. You're going to flex the spine, lifting that upper mid back. And then exhale, push your chest towards the ground, draw the shoulders down your back. And inhale, flex. Julie, so just checking, have you got some books to hand as well? Because we'll use some yeah. books to yeah. Yep. And again, flex. Extend. Flex. And extend. Then you're going to come to neutral. I want you to reach your left arm underneath your right arm. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, reach up to the sky with that arm. Inhale, rotate, reach under. Exhale, big reach up to the sky. Make sure that lower back stays pretty neutral. Doesn't move around too much because this is about mobilizing your thoracic spine. Last one. Place that hand down. You're going to reach your right arm underneath your left arm this time on the in-breath. Exhale, big reach up to the sky. And again, reach under, then go for that big lift. Last time. And then we're going to do a little bit of glute activation, fire up uh, those butt muscles. I want you to keep your hands underneath your hips and extend your right, uh, your right leg. Keep the toes turned down. So your right leg is extended now with your hands under your shoulders. And you're going to go for little lifts. Keep the hips tucked in and really squeeze that right uh, buttock, really getting those muscles active. You're here for another five, four, three, two, one. Place that right knee down. Let's do the same on that left side. Little lift, lift. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, stop there. We're going to come into a bear plank now. So hands under your shoulders, knees remain under your hips. You hover your knees in the air. Hover your knees and push back into a downward dog. Then come forwards, hover your knees. Downward dog. Hover. Downward dog. So you're switching from a bear plank to a downward dog to get a bit of stretching for the backs of the legs. But you're also mobilizing the shoulders as well as activating that upper body and your core. So there's a lot going on with this one. Going for another four. Lift, three, two, last one. And then come up onto your knees. You're gonna push back into a child's pose for a second just to have a stretch out for that back. So reaching those arms long in front of you. Then you're gonna walk your hands over to the right. Place your left hand on the ground Right hand over your left and just pull into your left side a little bit. And then you're going to walk your hands over to the left. Right hand on the ground. Place your left hand over your right and pull into that right side a little bit of your body. And then slowly stack up. Roll those shoulders back a couple of times. And then let's grab our mini band. So I want you to come up onto your feet and you're going to grab your mini band. If you've only got a long band, you just want to tie a knot in it so that you've got, um, so it's a little bit shorter. Oh, do, uh, which one should I use? I want you to use, use your purple one. 
That's it. Right. So that band is going to go on mid shin area. Mid shin area. Then you're going to come into a squat stance. So your knees are bent, your hips are pushed back, your back is nice and neutral. And from now we to extend your left leg to the side and then to the back. Side, back, keeping your right leg bent the whole time. If you haven't got a band, don't worry, just do the leg movement without the band, that's fine. It really rides up. If it's riding up too much, bring it down to your ankles. Are they small steps? They're just small steps, yeah. So you just bring it out, you tap the ground, bring it back in, then tap the ground behind you. That's it. Just going for the same side. So you're working that same leg. That leg comes out to the side and then goes back behind. You're doing this to actually fire up the left leg. So it's not the right leg that's working, even though it's bending and extending. It's the left leg because you're keeping the muscles contracted isometrically to stabilise the movement. You're going for another three, two, Last one, and we switch, do the same on the other side. It's so such a good thing to start, Natalie. Sorry. If hardly anyone says that, you're working on the leg, you're not moving. Because I always would be looking in an exercise class for why am I feeling it on the other leg? And somebody okay. would say the most obvious. Yeah, so the reason, so I, so now you're going to switch and do the same on the other side, Trini, and I'll just talk you through why I, you're I working. Switched. Oh, you have switched already, great. So, the, wet, the leg that is stable, stationary, it, because you've got the band around your leg, so that that leg doesn't come in when you move the other leg, because the band's going to want to pull it in, you have to engage those muscles to keep that leg still. So that is why that is the working leg. Because as that band expands, when you extend the other leg, you're not being pulled, so you're working that stationary okay. leg. Okay, band down to the ankles now. Step to the top of your mat, or you can use your, just on your floor is fine, it's slightly more stable than your mat. You need to walk your hands out into a high plank. From here, you're going to lift your left foot twice, place the foot down, and lift your right foot twice, place the foot down, left foot, right foot. So that you're getting that glute maximus, that big gluteal at the back, active. Your hips stay stable, your leg stays completely straight when you're lifting the leg. And again, if you don't have a band, this is fine, you're just not gonna get that extra little bit of pizzazz that you get with a band because you haven't got any resistance there. And it's a really good one for firing up the triceps, the shoulders, your chest a little bit, as well as the size of the stomach. You're here for 10 more seconds. Make sure those fingertips are spread out. You're here for four, three, two, one, and stop. Come up onto your feet. And you're gonna place the band around the balls of the feet. We're going to come into that little lateral hop just to get the heart rate up a little bit. By now you should be feeling that your muscles are really getting nice and warmed up. Feeling it. Good. Feeling it. So, so over the arches. Over the arches. Yes. Yeah. Right. You're going to push your hips back and lift the knees are bent. And you start to hop from side to side, keeping the band pushed out the whole time. So you want to keep tension on the band. You're going to turn to the side, my knees are bent, hips are pushed back, back is nice and neutral. And if you need to take this down a notch, you just step to the side, you step and step rather than hop and hop. You really want to keep those knees pushed apart the whole time. But bend your knees a little bit more, Trini, and lower your chest down a little bit more. And take a nice deep breath. This is a tough exercise. It's really gonna get the glute medius active. If you haven't got a band, just hopping from side to side like this is gonna be a nice way of raising your heart rate. 10 seconds. 
That's it. Keep the torso a little more still. Focus on that side to side movement. Three, two, one, and stop that. Off. Band off. You can take that really leg off. That. Okay, so now we're going to go into a side lunge exercise. Now you've fired up the muscles surrounding your hips. You can use them in more of a functional movement. I want you to get two books. Reasonably um, the same weight. So you want them to be around the same weight. But it doesn't matter because we'll switch the books around anyway. Two books and you're going to take a wide stance. So wider than shoulders. Toes turned forwards. Okay, so you're going to come into a side lunge. Go into that left side, you lift, latch your waist so the arms come out to the side. You lower, lift, squeezing that, uh, the, right, the left heel into the ground as you drive out of the lunge. Make sure the toes are turned forwards and you're not rotating your body towards the knee, you're keeping it central. Really squeeze your bum when you lift out of that lunge and raise those weights up into the air. You've got 30 seconds on that side, 20 seconds to go, and then 30 seconds on the other side. Deep breath in as you lower, exhale to lift, tuck those hips. You're gonna be switching on those abdominals when you lift your arms, because you're holding your weight away from your body. So that is, means that your core has to work really hard. You have another two, last one. And then you're going to do the same on the other side, but I want you to swap the books around. So you stop there just in case they're slightly different weights. So let's get, you're going to lean into that right side. Inhale, exhale, lift, lateral raise. Really working with the breath and it's just 30 seconds. That's it, fantastic training. Make sure those toes are turned forwards though, so the toes are parallel rather than lateral, so you want them forwards. Nice, over halfway through. Really feeling like you're pushing away, using that heel. Get that hip stabilizer active. You have two more. Good, last one. And stop there. You're going to put those books down to one side and come into a plank variation. Okay, so we want something a little extra this morning, so I want you to reach your arms up, place your hands down, walk your feet out one at a time, hold there for a second, you're gonna come down onto your forearms, back up under your hand, under your hands, walk your feet back in, Big reach up to the sky. So it's a burpee variation, but there's no jumping. Then hands down, walk the feet out, come onto your forearms, up onto your hands, feet in, lift. And this is really gonna get the heart rate up. You're using lots of different muscles. You've got the triceps working really hard, the shoulders, you're getting nice sculpted arms with this, the core is working, the legs are working. Good, big reach. And as a bonus, you're really getting that heart rate up. So training with this one, I want you to try and walk your feet, bring your feet in towards your hands, so you stand up from a squat. Then reach those arms up. Good, then squat down, place your hands down on the ground. Then feet go back. That's it, onto your forearms, up onto your hands, walk your feet back in, stand and reach. Perfect. You have 15 seconds to go here. Hands down, feet out, forearms down, feet back in, and reach. Nice, you're going to go for one more repetition. If the, if the up-down is too much, you're just going to bring your feet out, bring them back in, and then stand. Right, you're back up onto your feet now, Trini. 
So that one is over. You're going to shake off the wrists, shake off the legs when you're ready, and then have a sip of water. So, grabbing a sip of water, and then we're going to move on to a back exercise. If you want to, with this one, you can use either your long theraband or a stack of books is fine. So you're going to have your feet in the band. Feet in the band. Just going to walk back here so you can see. And what I want you to do is have your feet parallel. You're going to go for one bent over row. So you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lengthen out the arms, then stand up out of the deadlift. Push the hips back, arms along, pull, squeezing those mid-back muscles, lengthen, tuck the hips in, drive up, squeeze your bum. Hips back, knees bent, pull, lengthen, stand. So here, you're working the back of the leg, those lower back muscles a little bit, keeping them nice and strong, as well as those mid-back muscles and your biceps. Pull, that's it. Drive up, tucking those hips in. And it's a, it's a hinge at the hips, so you're pushing the hips back, chest is lowered. Nice. You're here for another four repetitions. Good, if you're doing this with the books, it's exactly the same, you're just holding the books instead. Two more. Pull. Good, drive up, last one, hips back, pull, lengthen, tuck in, squeeze the bum, and then you can get rid of that band for a second. Actually, hold on to that band, Trini. Let's do some band revolutions, just to stretch out the chest and mobilize those shoulders. This one always feels like a really nice release. Deep breath in, those arms come forwards. Exhale, you pull the arms, up and over the head. Good, last one. Okay, and then you're going to grab a sip of water. You've got a short rest, and then we're back to that first lateral lunge exercise, that side lunge. So sip of water, and then you're going to grab your two books. So the same books that you used before, and you start off with a nice wide stance. Toes are turned forwards. Hands are on the inside of the legs. You're going to push into that left side, drive that heels into the ground, then stand up, squeeze your bum, lift your arms. Just to shoulder level, no higher. Inhale, exhale, lift. Lower, lift. And this is a great one for strengthening the muscles surrounding your knees. Good, keep those toes turned forwards if you can. And it's just 30 seconds of work. That's it. And when you stand up, you really tuck in, squeeze that bum, so you lower, lift, tuck in, squeeze your bum. You've got two more on this side. Last one. Perfect, let's switch those books around. Then you're gonna do the same on the other side. So you're leaning into that right leg now, inhale, Exhale, drive up, lift those arms. And when your arms are lifting, make sure your shoulders are pulled back. And it's a great exercise. You're working on lots of different muscles simultaneously, and you're getting those nice, sculpted, defined shoulders, toned arms. That's what we like to hear. That's right. Summer dresses. It is summer. <laughs> Going for another three. Good, two, and last one, drive up, take it, bring your feet together, put those books down, and Trini, I'm going to give you a slightly different version of this um, plank now. Yeah, because I've just got to sleep, for some reason, this part of my back is really hurting. Is it a bit, have you, is, it's a bit tight today? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll have a nice big stretch for that at the end. I want you to go for a yeah. nice big reach up to the sky. You're going to squat down and then see if you can walk the feet out. Does 
Does that hurt your back? No, it's all right. Okay, it's so bring your feet back again. Okay, so we're not doing that bit. Then I want you just to bring your feet back in and stand up. I'm going to do my old one. I'm not going to do that one. You show them your one because I just, there's something which is hurting. Do you want to do the plank uh, training? Do the plank walkout instead then. So you're going to walk your hat. Yeah, I know. I for a plank walkout. Because that's a, that's a nice one. And you get a bit of a stretch as well. Then you walk your hands out into your high plank. Good. Then walk your hands back to your feet and stand. And this one is still slightly cardiovascular because you're moving um, you're, uh, moving different muscle groups. Uh, so it's a compound movement. That's it. Walk your hands back to your feet. Roll up. Good, big stretch, and again, well done. Excellent. Try not to dip between those shoulders. You want to keep the shoulders protracted rather than pulled back when you're in that high plank. So it's nice and stable. You're here for another three repetitions. Roll down, taking your time with that. Try to keep those legs as straight as possible for as long as possible when you're rolling down and walking your hands up. That way you really switch on those lower abdominals. Perfect, and last one. Good, walking your hands back to your feet. Nice, come up onto your feet. Have a really big stretch, reaching those arms up to the sky. And then you're going to pick up your band. Or if you're at home and you haven't got one, pick up your books. Okay, stepping into your, stepping into your band. Bring your hands quite far down so it's nice and heavy. Back straight. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lengthen the arms. Drive up, tucking your hips in. Then inhale, push back. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drive up. Deadlift. And you just keep going one after the other. 45 seconds of work, you've got 30 seconds to go. Make sure that you're not letting those shoulders come up to your ears. You're keeping that neck nice and lengthened. You're pulling the shoulders back. Good, hinge those hips back. One bent over row, so pull the band. So Trini, when you're, you're, going, you're alternating between a row and a deadlift. So you lower, row your arms down, so you're pulling, lengthen, deadlift, good. Hips back, row, lengthen, deadlift. You've got two more. Excellent, and last one. Good. Stop if you can there. check how I'm doing it at the beginning, because sometimes Natalie, they can only see me and not you, and then they don't know what they're doing. That's just a comment that came last week. Okay. Yeah, just so, otherwise they say I'm doing the exercise wrong, and. Whatever. Just okay. check I'm doing it right if I haven't heard it. Sometimes I don't hear. Yeah, well you weren't you weren't doing it right for most of the time then, so that's good. Okay, right, you're going to put that band down to one side. Yep. And I want you to pick up some books. Just you can hold just two or three, just so that you've got a little bit of resistance. Then you're going to have your feet nice and wide. So you're going to come into a sumo squat here. So your feet are wider than your shoulders. Toes slightly turned up. Arms on the way to squat. Bicep curl. Then drive up out of that squat. So you're going to lower into a squat. Bicep curl. Stand. So you're holding a squat for just a little bit longer than you normally would if you're just squatting which means that those muscles have to work a little bit harder because they're staying in a contraction. But you're getting the front of the arms to work here too. So you squat, curl, lengthen, stand. And when you're standing, you really feel like you're zipping those legs together, you're squeezing your bum, you're driving up through the heel, as if you're screwing your feet into the ground. Good, get nice and low in the squat, as low as you can. You can lean forward a little bit with this one, and you can rest your um, elbows on your knee, on your legs. 
when you do that bicep curl. Good. Going for another five repetitions. And then you've got an ab exercise. Good, perfect. See if you can get a tiny bit lower in the squat. Good, going for two. Nice. And last one. Good, drive up. And you can put those books down to one side. Come over to your mat. You're going to lie down on your back. And I want you to keep your left hand behind your head. Your right leg can stay on the ground or can hop it in the air. And you're going to reach for your left ankle, but you're bending the knee and rotating across the body. So you're reaching back, you lift and rotate. If you want to make this harder, you can hover your right leg in the air. That's it. Inhale and then the exhale. Head reach. Sorry. My head you're keeping your head up and you keep your hand behind your head so it's supporting your neck so it's not straining. Good, and go across the body. So you're reaching across to really get the side of the stomach working. Good, and it's 30 seconds on each side. Nice, the more you reach across the body, the more those obliques will fire up. You've got three, two, last one, and stop there. You're gonna switch and do the same on the other side. Inhale. As you reach back, exhale to reach for that ankle. Good. Keeping the chest lifted. And again, rotating as much as you can. 15 seconds to go. That's it. Reach across the body a little bit more. Good. Going for another four. Go for three. Two. Last one, and turn over. We're going to come into a little bit of mobility now with a dynamic lizard stretch. So I want you to come into your high plank position. You're going to bring your left foot forward to the outside of your left hand. And then you should get a nice stretch through the hip as well. So you're in a high plank. And then your left foot comes forward to the outside of your left hand. I can't do this, my back hurts too Not much. To, okay, so instead, what would you want to do? I'm sorry everyone else, but I just can't. I'll either have That's to fine, off. so let's just so loosen all up. Here. Natalie, all here it's hurting. It's there, okay, right, we're going to loosen all up here. back then. I want you to come over to your mat, Jenny. Bring your, you're going to... Kneel on your mat with your knees wide, wider than the hips, and reach your arms forwards. Just reach them forwards and just let your head relax. Just so your back can elongate for a second. And then we can do another um, lower back stretch. Taking some deep breaths here. Then sl very slowly begin to stack up. Roll the shoulders back a couple of times. And I want you to lie on your back. So you need to lie on your back. And just and you're to bring your right knee in towards your chest. So you're lying down, left leg is low on the ground, to bring the right knee in towards the chest. It is almost stretching time, so we can actually go into stretches and have a really good stretch from now on. If you don't mind, everybody, I've just got to do that because I just don't know if I can do more exercise. And then you'll be fighting fit again by Wednesday, so we just yeah. relax that lower back. Now what I want you to do is bend your left leg, keep your foot on the ground, and cross your right ankle over your left knee. You're just going to hold there for a few seconds is if you're quite tight around the back, you may not be able to pull the leg um, towards you. So just hold this stretch with your ankle resting on your knee. And take in some deep breaths there. Now cross that right leg over your left leg completely. 
You're going to lower your legs to the left very gently. And I want you to lower your torso, uh, bring your body over to the left as well. And then start to reach back. Trini, let me know if you're feeling really tight and if there's any pain in the lower back when you do this rotation. And let that arm hang nice and um, long on the ground so that right arm is lengthened out. Have you done anything to your back over the weekend? Were you no, I was fine when I started this. Right, okay. I, I just, it suddenly came on me. I don't know why. Come back to the centre. Uncross those legs. And lengthen your right leg out long and pull your left knee in towards the chest. Holding for a few seconds, then you need to bend your right leg, have the foot flat down on the ground, and cross your left ankle over your right knee. Holding that for a few seconds before we go into the rotation. Then take a really deep breath in, cross your legs over completely, and then as you exhale, you're going to lower your body and your knees to the right, then you outstretch your left arm, look to your left. Okay, come back to the centre. And I want you to keep your legs crossed, you need to bring your knees into your chest, give your knees a bit of a hug. So you're wrapping arms around your knees, but your legs are crossed over completely. And you should feel that the left um, hip, the muscles around the hip are getting a little bit of a stretch. And then uncross those legs, you're going to cross your right leg over your left leg. Lift your legs and pull them towards the chest. And now you're going to go into the happy baby pose. I want you to bring your knees apart, have your elbows on the inside of your knees. You lift your head and chest for a second to grab hold of the outside of the feet. So your elbows are on the inside of the knees and your hands are on the outside of your feet. And this is a really nice one for relaxing um, the core muscles actually, as well as the, the inner thighs get a bit of a stretch. The lower back gets elongated and um, the hips get a bit of a stretch too. And taking some really deep breaths, let yourself relax as much as possible. Holding for another five. For three. Two and one. I'm going to bring your feet down and I want you to have your feet flat down on the ground and you're going to go for a couple of pelvic tilts. So you're going to tuck your hips in and then release. As if you're initiating a glute bridge. So you tuck, push that lower back into the mat and release. Do you feel any pain as you tuck your Yeah, back? I do. You do? Okay. Just on the lower back. On the lower back, okay. On the mid back, I feel it. But it's probably. I feel this will exercise it out, I don't know. Uh, sorry, Trini, this is, you feel like I'm feeling it on the mid-back, but I feel this might help, I think this will help just to ease it back and forth. Okay. Right, just do one more of these, and then you're going to turn onto your right side, just to very gently push yourself off the ground. And I want you to get your TheraBand. So your TheraBand is close by, so you're going to use it for a stretch now. You're going to lengthen out your left leg on the ground. Am I, am I lying? Sorry, you're using your band and you're going to take a seat on the ground, on your mat. 
And then I want you to lengthen out your left leg. So your left leg is going to come out at an angle. And your right foot is going to be on the inner thigh of your, of your left leg. Then I want you to take your band and hook it around your left foot. So you're going to reach down, grab the top, uh, place your left hand on top of the band. Your right hand is still holding the band, but your left arm is reaching forwards towards your foot. And you're going to slightly lift the arm and rotate your body towards your right knee. So you're rotating your body in, and you should feel quite a big stretch in that uh, mid to lower back area, that uh, QL muscle. The more you rotate the body and lift your arm, the deeper the stretch will be. So just go very gently with this one. And take in some nice deep breaths. I don't quite know what I'm doing, sorry. I'm okay, still so holding on. And then so once I'm doing my left arm. Your left hand is reaching, uh, you're holding on to that band, but you're reaching towards your toes. Okay. Then I want you to lift that left arm and rotate your body inwards away from that left leg. So you're rotating towards your right leg, lifting your left arm, but the left hand is on the strap. And the right hand is, is on the strap as well, but it's underneath your left hand. Your right hand, sorry. Your left hand is underneath your right hand on the band. And you're rotating. So you're rotating the other way, Trini. So I want you to rotate. Now I've got my left leg out. Your left leg is straight. And then you're going to rotate towards your right leg, lifting your right arm by your ear. So you're lifting that right arm, rotating towards your right leg. Sorry, I'm lifting my right arm. I thought I had my right arm on the band. Yes, yeah, so your hand is on the band, and you're going to just lift the elbow, but keep your hand on the band. So can you see me clearly? So I'm just rotating my body, but I'm lifting my right arm just a little bit towards my ear, so I'm getting, so I'm creating an elongation through the right side of my body. And then, let's do the same on the other side. So this is a nice stretch for the, you're gonna stretch out your lower back and the inner thighs a little bit. So I want you to lengthen out your left leg now. Have your right foot on the inside. That's what I just leg. had. That's what I just have. I just have my left leg out. So, like, I just have my left leg out okay. and my right leg bent. Okay, right. Okay. So, I just didn't understand anything you were doing because I kept saying my left leg's out. Okay, right. Now I get it. So, you switch your, now your right leg is out straight. Okay, so you're putting the band around your foot, and you're going to now, if your but if your right leg is out straight and your left hand is on the band, reaching towards your toes, now you rotate towards your left knee. So you're lifting your left hand and you're rotating towards your left knee or your left arm. Do you feel the stretch now, Trini? Because it looks like I you're do, doing it. I do. Okay, so now we've got it, so we'll just have to do the same on the other side. And just relax into it as much as you can, taking some nice deep breaths. So I think what happened was when you did that plank, it's just that your core just wasn't quite switched on enough. So, so but when that happens, you, other muscles compensate, normally your back. Uh, compensates. So you just you've just uh, used those muscles. It will ease off though the next. Um, hopefully by the end of today. I felt it naturally before I did that plank. I mean it before was before you did that. Okay. Well, when I went to go with the plank. It was there already. That's the thing. Right. Uh, can you pinpoint what it was? No. It just. You just felt it. I didn't feel it as I was doing it. So it wasn't that that plank was. Making you do it. Oh, I see. It's already there. Okay. Try and lift that arm a little bit higher. And if you're flexible.
flexible enough for this one. You don't actually need a band. You can just grab hold of your foot or your ankle and do that exercise. Come back to the centre. Now you're going to uh, um, come into your mermaid position so that your right leg, your left leg is bent and your ankle is turned, the outside of your ankle is up to the sky. That's it. And then what I want you to do is reach up and over, take a deep breath and then exhale, reach under, go, so you're going the opposite way, Trini. So maybe if I do it this way, then you're going to reach under your right forearm. So actually that's your left hand on the ground. So if you're reaching up and over, you're reaching under your left forearm or your left elbow. So you're getting a nice rotation in for the back and you're stretching out those mid-back muscles as well as the muscles around the hips. And then you can reach up and over in the opposite direction. So you're gonna push yourself up and then reach up to the sky with your left arm. There we go. But keep the hips tucked in, so you're going to stretch through the lats. One more time, reach under. Come back to the centre and then you can switch your legs around. So you're going to turn your legs around. This time the left um, ankle is, the outside ankle is turned up and your right foot is touching the top of that left thigh. Take a deep breath in, big reach up to the sky with that left arm and then exhale and reach under your right arm. So if you put your right hand on the ground and then come onto your right elbow. This is my right hand. That's your right hand. Okay, I'm getting confused because of the mirroring of the screen. So, cut, so left forearm on the ground. Put your left forearm on the ground. Then reach under your left forearm with your right arm. So reach under your left forearm with your right arm. And hold that stretch for a couple of seconds because you're going to get a nice rotation into the back. You're going to elongate those back muscles a little bit. Then come back to the centre. And then reach up and over with that left arm. Good. Really reaching up towards the sky. Then you're going to Turn over so you can be in the quadruped position, so hands directly under your shoulders, knees directly under your hips. And let's flex and extend your back. So you're not sticking the hips back too far, just focus more on extending the thoracic spine, pushing your chest towards the ground. And then you come to neutral, bring your right foot forward so we can come into the hip flexor stretches. So right foot is forwards, left knee is on the ground, hips are tucked in, and you're going to reach your left arm up to the sky. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, lean to the right, but really outstretching the side of the body. You've still, despite your back, you've still managed to do a really good workout today. You've worked every muscle. Right. So hopefully that back will ease off. I'll just give you a couple of stretches to do at your desk today. Back to the centre. Let's switch and do the same on the other side. Your hips are tucked in. You're going to engage your right uh, buttock and reach that right arm up, then lean to your left. Good. Keep holding, holding for another four. Three, two, and one. Come back to the centre. Very slowly come up onto your feet. And I want you just to hang. Your feet are just wider than hips. Let your head relax, your knees are soft, and let gravity pull your upper, the weight of your upper body down towards the ground. You can shake your head yes, shake it no, make sure you're nice and relaxed. And take a deep breath in as you exhale, very slowly start to come out of this. You can heel toe your feet back to parallel, so they're more neutral. Roll the shoulders back a couple of times. And the stretch that you're going to do is on your chair today. So I want you to, you are going to come into your piriformis stretch, because that's going to help stretch out your lower back, but also your, the muscles around your hips. So you're leaning forwards, and you're going to 
Lean forwards, rotate towards your bent knee, then sit back up again. You lean forwards, rotate your body, then sit up nice and tall. Okay. So that you can stretch around the hip. And make sure that your neck is, you know, I think you maybe you've probably got a little bit of tension today, so just stretch. My neck, neck is so fine. My neck is fine, it's like I've got something just grasping around here. 